Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? How, so why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows what you need, uh, knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So this uh, passage uh, from Matthew 6 and uh, verses 25 to 34 tells about that the Lord uh, takes care of us and that um, we are more of value than birds and um, if, 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 if we want to follow him and seek his righteousness and, and um, he will give us things, all the things that we need in our lives. So I actually want to tell you about a prayer answer that I got today. It's very, very simple prayer answer, like an everyday thing that I was praying about. Um, just to show how much God really cares about things. Um, uh, well, because I'm a lady, I use these things that are called uh, panty liners. So, and I was uh, about to um, run out of panty liners and then I prayed to Lord, can you give me a discount? the day that I need to go and buy them from this specific store called Tokmanni here here in Helsinki and, and I was like okay can you give me um, when I need it I need to go buy these and then actually today I went and uh, and what happens package these are the ones that I usually buy it's like this duo thing and one of these packages normally cost about 3.49 euros, 3 euros 49 cents. And today, when I walked in, there was a discount that was actually uh, for two, two of these packages for 6 euros. So if I would have bought these any other time, just one package, it, it would have been two of these, would have been 7 euros. And now, today, it was six euros. So God gave me a prayer answer. I got one euro discount. So it's um, it's amazing thing that God cares about these little things. This is this is like everyday thing. This is everyday thing that that, that I needed in my life, and He answered it. So it's a, a amazing thing. And um, remember to pray about even the littlest things. He will answer if, uh, if you, of course, have been born again by the Spirit of God. Because uh, God will not answer the prayers of sinners who haven't come to His Son, Jesus Christ, first. 
because you need to be first cleansed because all of all of us have we have all all have sinned in our lives and God cannot answer your prayers um, if you are still living in that sinful way and not uh, following Jesus so um, I hope you would feel in, encouraged that God truly is a God who answers prayers and uh, this is not the only prayer answer there's many prayer answers that I've been um, getting and I'm sure it's for every Christian but I just wanted to uh, demonstrate that it's it's uh, even in the smallest things and um, yes give your love to Jesus he cares for you uh, he loves you he doesn't want to condemn you uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that anyone that believes in him, believes in him should not perish but would have everlasting life and but the people who reject Jesus are condemned already it says in the Bible that if you reject the Son of God you are condemned and but it's not wish of God that you or anyone in this world would be perishing so, God is asking you today to turn away from your sins, repenting of your sins, and coming to His Son, Jesus, asking for forgiveness, so that you could have that perfect relationship with God today. So, today is the day of salvation, and uh, I hope you seek Him with all your heart. You can read a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, you can get an app on your phone for free. And um, and read it and ask God, what is the truth? Is Jesus real? And what's written in the Bible the truth? Because if you love the truth, God can reveal it to you. If you truly want to know. And um, then it's up to you. It's up to you to do the decision. Are you going to follow God because just that you are part of church and you pay pay taxes to the church or that you've been baptized as a child or you've been um, you know live even part of a family that's a believers it, it, these things they cannot they cannot save you it's your personal choice to, uh, that you need to do to follow Jesus Christ and ask forgiveness of him no one else cannot do it for you God wants to have a personal relationship he can talk to you it's it's not a joke but if you are still a sinner you cannot hear his voice you cannot see miracles you cannot you cannot see those things and you might not even be able to understand them because yeah but it's real God is real Jesus is real the Bible is real so give your life to Jesus today be blessed